My name is Jim Driscoll. I'm the Vice President and President-elect of the Combustion Institute. Uh, I'm also a professor of aerospace engineering at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. And I've been a member of the Combustion Institute for uh, over 20 years. The mission of the Institute is really to do good science and then to disseminate that information uh, to the world. I think this meeting is really special because there's a level of honesty that you don't find um, in other uh, societies and other meetings. I think we have uh, people who give presentations who are very honest and straightforward about what they did right and what they didn't do right. And then we have honest discussions after the sessions. I think you don't get that kind of interaction if you go to government meetings or, or even over the internet, you know, I think you have to have these face-to-face -face meetings and ask people honestly, what is the good science you've been able to do and what are the problems you're having? And we learn a lot from these meetings. In the long term, uh, all of the future presidents are going to have to get the message out to the world, not only to the United States or to Europe, to Asia, but to the whole world that uh, First of all, that there's a, a source of clean energy, natural gas, hydrogen, other sources, that we're working at reducing pollutants even further than before. So we're working at really reducing the um, emissions and making the quality of life better for people. I don't think the general public fully realizes yet that combustion science has made a positive impact on their lives, and we want to continue to do that.